And this is a special report, live from the trenches. I'm completely full of shit. Good evening. What's happening, YouTube? Today we're going to be reviewing a Cinema Blend article entitled J.J. Abrams Reportedly Trying to Fix Star Wars Issues Through Episode 9 by our faithful Corey Chichizola. Now before I get into this, I just want to comment on the general state of reporting these days, okay? We have a lot of op-ed things that are masquerading as news. And <clears throat> I believe that they are meant to be feelers to see if the things that they're reporting on are things that we as consumers are willing to buy, um, which is terrible. You know, I took journalism in school and we were taught to find a reliable source, interview the source, probe it, let it be anonymous if it wants to be, um, and then research the other side, present the facts, and let the reader determine their own opinion. But no, never mind. Today's Cinema Blend article goes thusly. Since Disney purchased the rights to George Lucas's Star Wars franchise, there's been a ton of new and exciting content brought to the masses. This includes both main installments and standalone films, which help to expand the galaxy far, far away. And while the House of Mouse has made a ton of money with the franchise and already recouped the $4.05 billion investment made to acquire Lucasfilm, there have been some missteps as of late. The last two Star Wars released were Ryan Johnson's The Last Jedi which continued the main narrative of the Skywalker saga, and Solo, a Star Wars story. The latter was the second standalone film of the franchise, explaining the backstory behind characters like Han Solo, Pando Calrissian, and Chewbacca in the shower together as a family, because this is a family film from a family company. But Solo was a box office <laughs> while The Last Jedi is arguably the most divisive film in the entire franchise. But J.J. Abrams is reportedly hoping to change this narrative, put the franchise back on a better course. Abrams is continuing to make massive deals, and a new report by Variety alleges that he's been tasked with putting the ultra-popular space opera back on track. There are no details as to how this might come about, but it should be fascinating to see how the galaxy, far, far away, second time you said that, continues to grow and change. I fucking hate your uh, adjectives. In the wake of Solo and The Last Jedi, it appears that Disney may be reevaluating its plans moving forward in order to best service the fans and make oodles of money at the box office. Early rumors indicated that Star Wars may be abandoning their standalone movie plans despite the massive success of Gareth Edwards' Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, which was only successful because of Darth Vader. 
with Solo ultimately being a box office bust and chock full of bad press. Well, it's unclear if any more spinoffs are going to be produced. Oh, fuck. If J.J. Abrams is helping to get the Star Wars back through some course correction, it should be it should be wild to see exactly how the franchise changes with Episode Nine and beyond. Perhaps, perhaps. He'll bring things back to basics and tell a story that's just a bit more classic than the purposefully subversive one that the round had, his royal roundness, Ryan Johnson, brought with The Last Jedi and with Solo, a victim of behind the scenes dramatics, Abrams should also bring a more focused and garbage relaxed set. These people can't even write. Should J.J. Abrams be trying to undo the damage done by Ryan Johnson in The Last Jedi? It may be in vain. Johnson has been hired to develop his own trilogy <laughs> Star Wars films, which will go into affect, affect, after episode nine hits theaters. The Star Wars franchise will continue with episode nine. Fuck, you can't make this up. The Star Wars franchise will continue with Episode 9 Arrives. The Star Wars franchise will continue with Episode 9 Arrives on December 20th. Don't you fucking proofread? Cinema blend? Oh, it takes too much time. We just we gotta pump out the the trash. Um in the meantime. Check out our 2019 release list to plan your trips on movies in the new year. Now here's my takeaways from this fantastic piece of journalism. Is that, number one, if you're sick of working at McDonald's and don't want to offend McDonald's, then you can go into a career of show journalism. All you have to do is not spell correctly, make grammatical errors in your sentences, and uh, upload your swill to Cinema Blend because they'll print anything. Um, you just have to put like a couple of like bullshit links in, in the body of your paragraphs. Um, you have to be sure to, to suck the the mouse dick a little bit. Just a little bit. I mean, just the tip. It's just the tip. Admit a little bit of truth. Okay? Yeah, this is a course correction. You know why? Because somebody fucked it up. Enough that they had to go back to the guy who they initially tried to do that volleyball move that could have done anything, okay? I didn't necessarily love The Force Awakens, but I had enough faith in it that, okay, yeah, it was an episode four ripoff, but let's see where that goes. I mean, Luke does this, and Ray's standing there like that, and then anything can happen. But the big takeaway is that even the show media is starting to acknowledge that The Last Jedi royally fucked things, and that something needs to be done. I'm a mortal coil. 
Be sure to like, subscribe, ding the bell for notification, share this if you think it's relevant. And uh, remember, if your career as a sawdusting janitor fails to pay off in the long run, and your wife is threatening to leave you, and you have uh, no money for uh, your, your power bill and your rent, but uh, Dr. Jim Beam is taking care of you. Remember, you too can be a garbage tier journalist.